What I want you to know about the Lisa Project is that this is really uh, my husband's brainchild. Um, it was Jean's idea to create uh, an exhibit that people could go through and feel what it's like to be an abused child, because most of us, we're lucky enough not to know that firsthand. And it's up to us as a community, not just the Child Abuse Prevention Council and not just CPS, but us as a community to do something about it. We're the ones that have to take a stand against this issue and make sure that the children who are in danger um, are protected by us and those who can do something about it. You're going to see some alarming statistics and uh, you, you're probably going to hear some sad stories as you go through this tour. Uh, but the thing I want you to really get out of this is that something can be done. And it, it starts with me and it starts with you. And uh, you can't walk away, as Lindy said, unaware anymore. You're going to walk through it, you're going to become aware, and you're going to have a solution about some things to do that maybe you weren't aware of before. And, um, I've worked for Child Protective Services for 20 years, and so I was not sure how, if, if I would feel anything, really, because we've seen a lot and experienced a lot, but it, they did an excellent job of really getting you in touch with what abuse really is. I wasn't so sure it was going to have any effect on me because I had done it and been there and worked with these people, but it was very moving, it was very realistic, and it, I think it's something that everybody should see. I used to do the dirty homes in San Joaquin County, and so when I looked there, it was the same. It was what I felt when I walked into those houses on a frequent basis. Uh, it was very realistic, very realistic. People that have been in that situation or have not especially need to come into the Lisa Project and learn about what it's telling because it's telling stories that are usually kept behind doors or kept secret and more people need to know the truth. More people need to know this is life, this is real world. Not everything is positive and there is a group called Child Abuse Prevention Council that chooses to set that example as to if you're living there now and if your life isn't positive now, come to us and let us help you live a positive life. Let us give you and your family and your parents especially the skills and the hope that you can do things differently and, and raise your family differently and then the whole family gets to break the cycle. So when I saw that uh, Gene and Lindy were putting this together I had to be a part of it. So United Way is proud to be a partner in this project. We're proud to be a partner of Child Abuse Prevention Council. I pray our community doesn't watch this building but comes into it and lives it and uh, experiences it and then goes out in the community and tells a story and then multiples of people decide we need to understand this is real life and let's do something about it.